Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you what are application variables. We have seen view state variables and session variables. View state variables are used to carry the value from one postback to another postback on the same page. Whereas session variables are used to carry value from one page to another page. From one postback to another postback. It could be on the same page or from one page to another page or throughout the application. Wherever we want to carry some value, we can use session variable. For example, a user logs in. As soon as they logs in, what is it I can do? I can store the username in session variable. Now I can use that wherever I want. So any global data which is associated to a particular user can be stored in session variable and I can use that. Now for example, I want to share a variable among all the users. So for example, my application is being accessed by n number of users and I want to share the information which is common among all the users. It means that if I have n number of sessions I should have a single variable which should be shared among n number of users or n number of sessions. For example, if I want to display the number of users who are currently online, say I have my application and I want to have a count which displays that there are so many number of users who are currently online. That means I want to share a data which is common to all the users. So this kind of information, it can be shared with the help of application variables. So application variables are nothing but the variables which is global to the application and global to all the users. So I can create that variable in an event which gets executed only for one time for first user that is nothing but application start event so where do i get the application start event in global file i'll right click say add new item global application class i'll add so in application start event i'm going to write or create that variable. How do I create? In the same sense as I have created view state and session variable. I'll say application dot add. And I'll name it as count. And let the value be zero. So whenever application start event takes place, it is going to create count variable. And whenever a new session gets started, it is going to increment that count variable by one. So what is that I will do here? I will say int i equals to application of count dot to string. And as I am trying to store it in an integer variable, I will pass it to int. So this is how I access the value of application variable. I'll say I plus plus. I have incremented the value and again I'll store it back in the application variable, the same value. Equals to I dot to string. So whenever a new session gets started, it is going to read the value of application variable, increment it by one and store it back in application variable. Save this. Now in my default page, I am going to display that value. View code. In page load, I'll just say 
response dot write number of users currently online plus that is nothing but your application variable application of count that's it now i'll put breakpoints so that we can see how it is going to perform all the events and i'll execute this in application start event it is going to create this variable count variable got created now when it comes to your session start event it is going to read the value of the variable value of the variable is nothing but zero so i'll say i plus plus it is it gets incremented by one so new value is one it is going to store it in application variable now in page load i am going to display this value one now i'll copy this same thing go for another internet explorer say another user i'll paste this and as we know very well for the second hit by second user it is going to have only session start event not application start event so i'm back in session start event now the value of i is nothing but 1 it gets incremented by 1 so it is 2 so number of users currently online are nothing but so here it won't get refreshed automatically if i refresh this you should see two even here two here if i start one more so i have one more user it should be now 3 i'll just press a 5 so number of users currently online are 3 now if you observe there are three users who are currently online refresh this refresh this so in this way i can go for displaying number of users currently online if i close this now how many number of users are there it still display 3 now what still display 3 so it should decrement it by 1 we need to write the code in session and event i need to write the code first of all in session and event saying that whenever a session gets ended i need to decrement it by 1 plus it is not going to end the session automatically i need to write that code in button click event say log out i have a button i'll just write the text log out so in this log out button click event what is it i'll do i'll just say session dot abandon this is what we have seen in our earlier video it is going to create the variable then session start i'll also put a breakpoint at session end event it should display one start another instance so number of users currently online are nothing but two users i'll refresh this 
now i have a breakpoint at session and event if i click log out it is going to end the session you see that so we are at session and event it is going to read the value the value of i is currently 2 we are going to decrement it by 1 so it will be 1 and new value in your application variable is 1 so this is over now I can if I refresh this it will say that session has ended so I need to simply close this if I refresh this this should show me 1 session still exists if I click this even this session got ended and now there is no user who are currently online close this this should be the first user then so that's it this is very simple this is how you can use application variables to share common information among all the users on all the pages of a particular application